Stuck on Samsung FRP Google Lock? This happens when you have forgotten your Google account password after a reset or if you bought a secondhand phone that is still linked to the previous owner's account. In this video, I'll guide you through some ethical solutions that actually work that will allow you to regain access to your device safely. The first step is to check if your Samsung meets the requirements to be unlocked. Specifically, we need to verify that the phone is clean and it has not been reported as lost or stolen, as we can only unlock phones that are clean. In other words, phones that are not blacklisted. To verify this, you need to get your IMEI number of your Samsung Galaxy. To do that, tap on emergency call on the lock screen, then type star hash zero six hash, and the IMEI number will show up in the screen. You can also find this number in the original box that the phone came in, or in some cases in the back of your phone. Once you have your 15 digit IMEI number, we're going to switch to a computer or to a mobile device with internet connection. The next step is to go to the website unlockriver.com. I will include all the official links in the description of this video. Here, we will have to verify that the phone has not been reported as lost or stolen. We will select the blacklist check tool. You can find it at the top menu here. We will insert the 15 digit IMEI number we just got. Then type your email where you want to receive the full report to find out if the phone is blacklisted or not. By clicking this button, you can also see a sample to see how the report will look. So let's proceed. As you can see here, this check will cost around two to four dollars. So place your order and the report will get instantly delivered in your email. The email that you receive will look something like this. It brings a lot of information about your device, especially the IMEI number, phone model, but most importantly, the blacklist status. So this is very important. If your device is clean and it says true, this means that your phone is in good standing and good to go. Otherwise, if it's not clean, you will not be able to proceed to unlock your phone. Once we have confirmed that the Samsung meets all the requirements to be unlocked, we'll go back to Unlock River, and this time we'll select the Google Account Removal tool. The next step is to enter your IMEI number again, along with your email, and proceed to place your order. Let's proceed. In the following page, you will see a summary of your order, check the delivery time, and it's usually quite fast. So after placing your order, and once your unlock has been successfully completed, you will receive an email. This email will look something like this. You will see that the Google account lock has been successfully removed, and it will include instructions on what to do next. Now we're gonna restart the phone. Once you power it on, proceed with initial settings, and make sure that you are connected to Wi-Fi. As you can see here, we have removed successfully the account from this device. And now we have the option to log into a new Google account, or we can skip this for now. We're gonna proceed with final setup. And that's it, our Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra is finally successfully unlocked. I hope that this video helped you. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.